Hey guys, so I made my very own PCBs, but before I explain anything, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, JLC PCB. They provided me with the PCBs for this video, but I also made a separate order for myself. I can say that the quality is good, the manufacturing and shipping time was fast, and the ordering process is fairly simple. And you can get 10 PCBs there for just $2. So what exactly did I design? I designed a little ESP8266 Froey. If you're like me, you not always need a NodeMCU or some other development board with every possible feature. I often just need something that powers the ESP so that it boots correctly and runs the code I flashed onto it beforehand. So I used EasyEDA, which is a simple online PCB design tool. I made my schematic, designed the PCB, exported the Gerber files and ordered them from JLC PCB. Of course, I could have used Eagle, KiCad or other programs, but if you just want to start with something simple like me and don't want to be annoyed and frustrated by logins, including libraries, updating stuff and other not so fun stuff, <coughs> Eagle, then you can just use that simple online tool. Yes, it took me some time to get used to it, but it's okay. I probably wouldn't recommend it for big complicated projects, but for a beginner it's definitely something to look at. So I ordered the PCBs and before I get a dozen of comments of how I soldered the parts onto it, I have a hot air station which I use for SMD soldering. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. The components, resistors, capacitors and that stuff I bought from AliExpress, because it's cheap. But if you want to do that, keep in mind that it can take months before everything has arrived and sometimes things get lost in the mail. And you don't want to find out that after waiting two months, you bought a thousand resistors in the wrong package size. Uh, yes, that happened. So I sorted on every part except the ESP module itself. I know ESPs can be tricky to flash sometimes, so I bought this Frogo board. Yeah, it's called that way. It's available on Tindy and it's a real lifesaver. You can test and flash raw ESP12 and ESP7 modules without soldering them. So. I flashed my program onto, that ch onto the chip using that cube board and then soldered it onto my PCB. Then I just connected it to power and it worked. So yeah, that's how you make your own hardware. And I know some of you want to buy these modules now and I might actually sell them at some point next year, but I can't promise anything right now. Designing, soldering and fiddling with these tiny SMD parts is really time consuming. I left a link to JLC PCB, EasyEDA and the Frogo board in the description. Uh, by the way, I do have a Discord server now, so if you want to join, I will leave a link in the description as well for that. Oh, and sorry that the video is so short, but time is on short supply these days.